Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to another episode of Kego Moriyama Photography. And we are keep going with our uh, review series of the uh, adapters of the offer by Photodiox. So today is uh, the uh, turn of a really special adapter, probably one of uh, uh, the best that I have tried so far, and uh, is an adapter for uh, uh, EOS uh, uh, lenses to uh, Fujifilm FX uh, mount. But uh, the good point of this uh, special adapter that I'm going now to show you here is that inside as uh, uh, an ND filter. You can see is a variable ND filter. And uh, for uh, this test, uh, I have used uh, another special lens, and this time is uh, the turn of the Samyang uh, 40 millimeter fisheye lens. So this manual lens, uh, uh, it's a really nice one, is uh, 2.8 f aperture and uh, as the, the negative point of course of being a fisheye, that means uh, uh, it's uh, difficult to uh, being able to put an ND filter because there is a no place where we can uh, install the ND filter. So uh, having the chance to utilize an adapter with uh, the ND filter inside is uh, of course the best uh, solution. So if we look a little bit uh, of the uh, quality of this adapter, of course as usual uh, it's really great, but uh, we notice uh, a little bit of a step up in terms of quality compared with the normal uh, adapter that uh, Photodiox is going to uh, sell. And uh, probably they want to really demonstrate uh, um, an improvement on the quality of the uh, adapter uh, itself, plus uh, the fact that it has the characteristic of the uh, ND filter uh, inside the lens, the adapter itself. So uh, we have uh, um, our normal uh, red dot that help us to mount the lens that we are going to do now. Okay, so the lens is mounted. There is no click sound, so just double check that it's uh, mounted properly. You install on the camera as usual. I'm doing it now. This is what you have in front of you. Okay, so if we have say that uh, this uh, adapter has the positive point of uh, having an ND filter uh, installed and that let you uh, use it while you're shooting or filming, uh, I have to say that uh, unfortunately the design is uh, bad. Why I'm saying that? So look, this is the front of the camera, the top of the camera. So uh, as you know, can notice probably, this is the ring, uh, the blue one, that let you to uh, turn the ND filter and uh, make it uh, uh, darker or not. But the bad point, uh, and you will notice uh, if I put close to the lens and the camera is helping me with the focus, is that the value max and mean is uh, almost, it's difficult to read, so you really can't exactly understand uh, if uh, uh, the level of the uh, ND filter that you have uh, uh, with you now, it's uh, in which position is it? Because I'm turning it, but 
you see, there is nothing that helps you to understand if it's max or min here. When instead, if I'm going to turn, you see this small arrow, let me focus. So there is this small arrow here to help you to understand if you are in the minimum or if you are in maximum position. So just if you are uh, shooting in maximum position, you can see directly from the top of the camera that uh, uh, it is in max, but uh, when you start turning to minimum, you have absolutely no idea if uh, it's on uh, minimum, if it's in between the two of them, it's closer to max or it's closer to minimum. So unfortunately, this is uh, uh, a bad design stuff. I hope that uh, in the next uh, uh, version, uh, Photodiox will be able to uh, fix this uh, small issue because, uh, again, the adapter itself is really convenient and uh, I'm pretty sure that when you're going out for shooting, if you have uh, uh, already installed the adapter, the ND filter, you don't have to worry to bring it uh, an ND filter with you. That is something that I, al I always, always, always uh, forget. Uh, okay, uh, we'll show you some picture and uh, I'm really satisfied with the results of it. Again, it's uh, extremely uh, useful and uh, I just need to change the throttle for the ND filter and easily I can uh, utilize uh, and, uh, the maximum aperture that the lens itself is offering me. I'm going to suggest you to buy this uh, uh, adapter yes definitely is uh, again it's a really a good one and even with this small defect of uh, not exactly understand on the go if you are on the max on or on the minimum position uh, the uh, results and the benefit that you can get with this adapter are definitely uh, worth the uh, money spent okay uh, that's all for me for today let me know if you have uh, any suggestion if you have already tried this type of uh, adapter and how do you feel about that and as usual till next time stay click bye